Welcome to the online demonstration for the Spiralab desktop spirometer. The Spiralab desktop spirometer has a rechargeable battery which can be charged from the mains. You can use it whilst it's charging and also remotely on the battery. It has a large memory storage and a high resolution large touchscreen display. The on and off key is on the front here. If you switch it on, it's very quick to boot up. You get three icons on the screen. You get patients, perform a test, and view results. Now, if I click on patients, it allows us to put a surname or an ID name in to search for a patient. We could add a new patient, and what you can do is pre-enter your clinic for today. So if you've got five spirometry patients coming in, you could pre-enter them, save them into the memory, and then you would click on view patients for today and that would bring a list up for you for the patients and you haven't got to sit there and enter their details in front of them. I'm just going to pop my details in, so add new patient. So the ID number, I'll just put in any number. First name, surname. So you can see it's got a nice QWERTY keyboard on the screen. Pop my date of birth in and it moves along through each box as you're entering details. See, I'm going to press enter and move through it. Height in centimetres, weight, ethnicity goes in and male or female. So these are the options in here. So this is where you could save it, cancel it or perform a test. So I'm going to perform a test. Now, the device itself is a turbine device, so it's a rotating vane. Now, you can verify this, and there's a verify facility in here with a 3-litre calibration syringe. This should also be cleaned and sterilised as well, so sterilising can be used, uh, Perisafe, that sort of thing. And it just pops in and twists to lock it in. And the mouthpieces are the standard cardboard mouthpieces. These are one-way valve mouthpieces, but you can use normal ones if you wanted to but one way valves are, are generally better and that just pops into the front like so. Now on the screen we've got the option to do the relaxed VC, the forced VC or a post test. So I'm going to click on the relaxed VC. So it's now asking me to do my tests. So this is a relaxed vital capacity. So you can see the graph comes up on the screen. It's nice and smooth and free from second breaths, etc. And we get over here EBC, so expiratory vital capacity, predicted, actual, percent predicted, just to quickly look at. Quality of the test, and then also the red one indicates my current trial. So you could reject that if you wanted to. We could finish the test, or you can add another trial. So I'm gonna add another one on. So there's my second graph and now overlaid on top of the first one. And the variation comes up now on here. So you can see it was 0 0.04 liters variance and minus 0.81%. So pretty reproducible. It says it was a good test again. And we can see that compared to predicted. So we can add one more on there. Okay, so we've got my third test now. Variance was 0%. Zero litres changed, 0%. It was identical. You can see the graphs are pretty similar. Again, percent predicted comes up. Down here it's saying trial three complete. And we can now finish the test. So if I click on finish test, it's saying we've got three acceptable trials with variability less than 100 mils, session complete. Are we wanting to finish? Yes, we are. So we click yes. If it didn't say that, it would tell you if there was a huge variation and you could click on add trial. 
but I'm just going to say yes. So here's my three graphs, here's my results, my three tests, so my best one, my actual two, and my actual three. It says there were three acceptable trials recorded, and there was zero variation between them. Now you can add some notes if you wanted to, so the person had been coughing, laughing, out of breath, not feeling well, you can pop that in there. You could print that off if you want to, but I want to actually perform a test. So I'm gonna do a forced vital capacity now. So I click on that option. We get the flow volume and volume time graphs on the screen. There is an incentive here as well if you wanted to, which is a, a curtain which moves across and exposes the, the picture behind, but I'm just gonna use the, the graphs. <clears throat> Okay, so I've done my first test and you can see that's got a, a, an area on here and that's the predicted area based on my details that I've entered. My graph is obviously in between that. Over here we get the basic parameters, FEV1, FVC, peak flow and the ratio. We can see the predicted for each one, my current best one and then percentage predicted. So it tells us it was a good test, it will say it was a slow start, abrupt end, possible cough. And we can look at the volume time as well if we wanted to. So I'm going to click on Add Trial. Again, the option would be there to reject it or finish test. So click on Add Trial. There's my current one. The blue arrows indicate where I previously got to, so for volume and peak flow. Okay, so we've now got two graphs overlaid, pretty reproducible, again, both within the, uh, the predicted area. Variation is here, so 0.98% for FVC and 075 for FEV1. And again, compared to predicted, it shows us on here. So I'm gonna go on and do a third one. Okay, so trial three completed, graphs are overlaid, reproducible, no variation. The actual percentage variation is pretty reproducible and that's compared to predicted. So I'm happy with that, I'm gonna say finish test. Again, it tells us we've met the criteria, yes. And now we get all the results up for that test. So you can see for my best test, which is pre-best here, we can see all of the parameters. We get the percent predicted, the actual predicted, the lower level of normal, and also the Z score as well, which is really useful. You can see the variation on screen, interpretations of normal spirometry, and we can look at the quality report for that if we wanted to, which says it was a good session. And we can look at the volume time as well if you wanted to see that. Down here we get the option to print the results, add notes, perform a post test if you wanted to, or finish the test. So I'm just gonna print the results. So the printer's really quick. We'll print both the graphs as well. And it's very high definition. So the nice thing on the printout is it shows you the patient details on there, the test performed. It will also show you the results for the best test compared to predicted and then it will show you the graphs with the predicted area as well on there. And at the bottom of the printout, it tells you when the spirometer was last verified using a three liter calibration syringe, which is really useful. Also some other things on the printout, just here where you get the ratios, you don't see all of the predicted value, the lower level of normal or the percent predicted, you just get the actual ratio, which is essential for not getting confused and muddled up. So now we've finished the testing on the spirometer. We can just click on finish test and we're now back to the start again. You can view the results for that patient if you wanted to and if there was multiple 
test for that patient, you could view them all. The other options down the bottom here would be for the calibration check using a three litre syringe, and you can also customize the device. If you want to clear the patient, it's now cleared and we're now ready to start again.